It happens every day, at just the right time. Right when you need to hear it, the perfect song comes on the radio, or the encouraging word you need to hear. It's happened to you, hasn't it? When we first got married, we knew we wanted a family. We knew we wanted a lot of children. We knew that adoption would be part of our story, but we didn't know how that was going to happen. Then one night, uh, Saturday night, we were um, just discussing things late at night, rolling over it. Can we? Should we? How do we? Where do we? And just again became very pressed that it's time. Move. Go. And we had gone into our adoption planning to have a girl. We, you know, had requested a girl. Felt like that's what God had for us was a girl. Felt like we had a name. Um, and got the call the day before we were going to meet the birth mother that it's a boy. <laughs> and then all of a sudden something didn't fit that fairy tale page that you expected it to be. And uh, it called into question everything. Is this the right child? Is there something that we missed? It was God clear. It called into question everything. So Monday morning I was driving in the car and um, Erica was talking and she was telling the story about her daughter signing up to be in the class play and trying out and how she had wanted to be Fern. She was a little redhead, she knew she'd be the perfect Fern, she wanted to be Fern and that's what, you know, she just was very focused on. And when the list was posted, she was not Fern, she was Charlotte. And. And Erica said, Erica said, sometimes you ask God for Fern, but he says, oh, I've got something so much better for you. I've got Charlotte. And you know in the movies where that light opens up in the heavens and it kind of shines down? I mean, that's how I felt. It was, it was really very specifically talking to me where God was saying, you asked me for Fern. You asked for the little girl. But just wait. I've got something so much better. Just, you just wait. I've got Charlotte for you. She heard exactly what she needed to hear as a message from God. A few weeks later, David was born and was immediately adopted into Brendan and Julie's family. He has just been the sweetest, easiest <laughs> baby. I mean, really, our family has gone on like Nothing has changed. He's just fit in very well as baby number five, and we just have continued on. The right word of encouragement, the right song, it's God at work through New Life 91.9. I'm so thankful for Erica and for 91.9 that, um, that they were open and willing to be used by God to make such a life-changing impact in my life. When has God used New Life 91.9 in your life? Was it just the right song when you needed to hear it? Was it just the right encouraging word when you needed it? That moment was made possible by listeners who support New Life 91.9 financially. Every gift matters. <laughs>